Batman movie bootleg set, this time from XINH. This is set number X0147. And uh, yeah, all of these actors have pretty much been bootlegged by Pogo already. Maybe not this one, but the other ones have. Uh, so we're going to see which one would be better. So, yep, Silver Sword, very soft, rubbery Silver Sword for the Highlander Batman. We have a uh, Black Batarang for regular Batman. I'll say this right now, his print is definitely better than the Pogo one. Uh, <laughs> not a mic, but a stick with a red bulb on the end, so yeah, that's wrong, but he has that. Uh, chicken leg, which is uh, okay, also wrong because the actual one has a lobster. Uh, pink flame and you know fairy wings on the back for Tutu Batman. We got claws here for Catman, which he's in here because uh, Pogo uh, Exanish probably thinks this is bat another bat suit, but it's not. Uh, to be fair, this could be Wolverine mix Batman. Uh, we have the Ha 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 Joker fa uh, suit from um, uh, the, the 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 Batman v Superman movie, uh, one of the. Uh, promotional toys that was released and then copied as a Lego minifigure and cause bootlegs sold out and copied out a lot. Uh, which this was, one was also released by another company previously. And we have Caveman Batman which has a morning star instead of a club. So yeah. So for the most part the accessories are all, well not all completely wrong but um, as long as XINH has not done a mold for them then they're wrong. <laughs> so that's a little bit annoying. As always, with x 9 inch there is a 4x4 plate with a 1x4 stud going through the middle, as well as an extra hand for each figure. So first, uh, four bat figures here with the Caveman Batman. They don't have dual molded arms, but they do have dual molded legs. And uh, But the arms, because they're not dual molded, they're just printed on. I think they're printed on slightly on the wrong area, so on the front it looks really wrong and pretty bad. Uh, but the rest of the torso and legs are printed okay. Uh, legs are a little bit loose, and of course up top here there's no like brown paint for the rest of it. So yeah, okay. Uh, suit Batman is um, it's really hard to see the glitter dots printed on him, but he does have them. And uh, relaxed Batman just looks terrible. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Uh, speedos on the back, and of course no print on there because this this one doesn't have any dual mode printing. Uh, the Highlander Batman does have. No, and it doesn't have dual motor print, so again, it looks a little bit off from the back, but from the front, it does look okay. The faces underneath just look wrong. <laughs> They're terrible. Um, very, very off. Nothing like the real thing, so that, that's bad. Uh, none of them have any back head prints. I guess the budget went into the dual motor legs, whatever. Uh, the back print on the bodies do look kind of okay, except this is just wrong. Next figures here. Now these three figures also have dual molded legs, so that's really cool. Making this probably one of the best versions of the uh, sort of the Joker Batman so you can get out there, including customs because custom uh, makers haven't done plastic molding yet. So there you go. Uh, right off the bat, the torso print on this Batman is way better than the Pogo one because the Pogo one is very faded, whereas the Bat logo here is much sharper. So that's good. So is the print with the rest of the torsos. They're all very sharp. Unfortunately, once again, the heads are pretty awful. Oh, the Catman one is actually decent, but all the Batman ones are pretty bad. The Joker one here is also very bad. It's meant to be like the Jared Leto Joker of damage tattoo on the forehead, but it's done very poorly. And that's very unfortunate. And uh, with this Batman here, you can see the clutch of his uh, hip area, even with the belt, is very good. And so is Tutu Batman. Look, see? Oh, let's put, get both of the legs on the stud and let's pull the body. Uh, yep, see, the body does not plug off, uh, unplug, so that's that's really, really good. On the back here, uh, almost none of them have back printing, apart from the, uh, the Joker one, and that one's okay, and it does have, you know, like, ha ha, hee hee, and stuff printed on the side, so that's okay. Unfortunately, though, notice that uh, this side of the arm is just a flip of the other arm, you see Joker spelled backwards, and so it's just a flip, so that's a bit stupid. So this is very unfortunate, while well, the dual molding legs is pretty cool and a lot of the torso print is pretty decent, the heads are just all over the place. I guess if you don't intend to take the mask off, they're pretty decent bootlegs, but as soon as you take that mask off, it's pretty horrendous. And uh, this guy, I can only look him in the eyes right now. <laughs> so yeah, um, so here's the thing, if you only get one set and you just want one overall decent copy of the official one, go with the Pogo stuff, but if you don't mind picking up, you know, like doubles, pick this one up, pick the Pogo one up, and you know, swap 
the legs over to the Poco stuff and you have something that's almost pretty good close copy to the official stuff. As for that Joker Batman in the middle, that might be the best bootleg slash custom figure around for that particular design. I, the print and the design looks pretty good. Again, it's unfortunate that one of the arms is just a flip of the Joker word, so keep the legs and plug that onto a different bootleg if you have it. Uh, or even the uh, one of the better made actual custom using Lego pieces because, um, again, there's no purple slash green uh, combo legs out there from official Lego. Not yet, anyway. So that's the best you can do with any customs. So, yeah, not really that good. I uh, hope x h really steps up with the faces because as soon as they fix the faces, that's a huge improvement and uh, will make me recommend these over Pogo any day. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye now. As always, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, click the like button, subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you like this video, you probably also like to see other bootlegs on this channel, which I've done a ton of. Uh, over DC, Marvel, Ninja Turtles, and even figures that have not been released by LEGO, including Game of Thrones or Walking Dead and stuff like that. Or even Assassin's Creed. There's a whole bunch of bootleg LEGO for that. And so if you like those, check those out and see if you want to get them for yourself. And if you want to support this channel, always consider turning ad block off, especially for how little ads there are now on YouTube, with the whole issue with YouTube adverts going on, and also meaning I'm taking, I, my channel's also taking a bit of a hit with the way they're ch changing their uh, logarithms with the YouTube um, adverts and AdSense that are counted, so if you want to support this channel a bit more, please consider heading over to Patreon and you know, sending a buck or two bucks over a month, any is very appreciated because um, 99% of everything you see on this channel is bought with money and if I don't have enough money to support this channel I'm gonna have to have to cut back and do less videos on here which is unfortunate for all of us maybe so if you really like to see more bootlegs and stuff then consider chipping in if not it's okay I don't have to do any of that take care have a nice day I will see you guys same bad time same bad channel maybe